right, what's up YouTube? How's it going everybody? We're gonna be selling our house. So this is the house, this is our first house. Twinkles and I bought it and fixed it up. I'll show you guys a couple pictures of what it looked like before. Um, did quite a bit of work to it. Uh, we just painted the outside. Here's a look at the outside while we were painting it. I basically just went around masking off and patching up holes. There was quite a few cracks and holes in the stucco, so I went around and patched all that up while my brother-in-law helped paint with his sprayer. We also did the trim in a dark brown color. Really helped bring it out. And uh, finished rebuilding that fence over there, the white fence over there. We rebuilt that. Here's a look at the fence when we were putting it together. Got some boards and some paint. Dug some holes. Put the posts up. Got the posts all centered and straightened. Took a little break with the dogs in the shade. Cemented the posts in. And we're ready for a new fence. Uh, the willow tree, I've watered it quite a bit. It's grown up over the years. And uh, the lawn was, this was all just star thistle out here uh, when we moved in. And there's some grape vines and some plums and cherry plums all over there. A couple of really old grape vines over in the corner over there. And uh, this is like where we had all of our garden set up here. Uh, tomatoes and stuff. And now there's just a bunch of pumpkins right now. It's probably the biggest pumpkins right here. Pretty good sized pumpkin. Yeah, so we're just growing some pumpkins and some cherry tomatoes right there. Uh, a couple of artichokes we grew right there. We actually had a fence set up for a while in between this fence right here and another. It was like five, six feet away. We had a bunch of corn growing right there. So it's been a pretty good place. So we ran into Bobcat. Scraped all that out, put down some weed barrier, and laid down some gravel right here. Here we're just scraping down the yard, getting ready for the gravel. This is some edging and the gravel that we brought in. And then it was time to lay down the gravel and some weed barrier. Working a late night, getting things done. Then it was time to lay down the edging and got, got the cement edging all in. Did some river rock around the plants. Um, this is a elephant ear that was here already. Kind of saved it. Replaced the swamp cooler. The one that was there was pretty much just about to fall right off of the right off the side of the house. It was hanging from the cables up there. Replaced all that, repainted it and everything, built a stand for the swamp cooler to stand on. This is the front yard. Just kind of put this border around the rock and the bricks, weed barrier underneath it, added a whole bunch of exterior lighting, like right now it's getting kind of dark, you can see, uh, made this little light fixture thing and added a couple of floods up there um, so you can see at night, as you can see it's pretty bright out still even though it's nighttime. Here's a look at the inside of the house before we started working on it, you can see the original fireplace over there in the corner, which we actually found out was a gas burning uh, fireplace that they had been burning wood in so that was kind of interesting to find out uh, as a look at the original kitchen uh, one of the original bedrooms uh, here's the original uh, guest bathroom that was pretty small it was just basically a, a toilet in the closet with no no shower uh, here's a look at the original bathroom before we redid it and the laundry room before we redid it here's a look at one of the bedrooms it was kind of a Barney purple with a Smurf blue and a baby blue. And then this is the inside of the garage before we redid it all. And there was no garage door. They had removed it, converted it back to a garage and put a garage door up front again. Here's Twinkles getting ready to demo on the first day. Uh, once we got the keys, we wasted no time. 
Twinkles went right to work. This is in one of the bedrooms, knocking down the wall between the bedroom and the living room. This is from the living room looking into that bedroom. Here's Twinkles going to town on that wall that she wanted removed. Uh, this is looking into the living room from the dining room. And there's Twinkles in that bedroom uh, in the hole she just knocked in the wall. You can see here that's looking into the kitchen from the living room. And this is Twinkles in that bedroom after we finished knocking down that wall. Uh, this is after we knocked down the wall in the living room and you can see the kitchen back there. This is Twinkles in the kitchen area holding up the new post to hold up the header. And there's the header in place. This was a pretty delicate process getting this header in and holding the existing roof in place with supports. A little bit of uh, inspiration from Panda. Uh, we decided we wanted a better way to get to the backyard so we ripped out this window and we put in this door. Uh, this is in the place where the bedroom was, which is gonna be the new dining room. Here's a look at the door once we got it installed. And I used some reclaimed wood we got off Craigslist to build some stairs. Here's a look at the old fireplace, uh, wood stove, whatever gas furnace that we ripped out. Uh, I had this beautiful kind of teardrop shaped wood stove that I was planning on using. It was this nice big uh, wood stove. I really liked this wood stove. I got it for cheap. I think I paid about a hundred bucks on Craigslist for it. I really liked the look of it. I was planning on using it until I saw the back and realized that the clearances uh, just weren't going to work for the corner that we had it uh, set up for. So I ended up getting in this other smaller stove uh, which had better clearances, better uh, shielding in the back so that it could fit in the little corner. I went ahead and put up cement board before we tiled just to make sure we had plenty of heat shielding on the back, laid everything out uh, using blue painter's tape and measured it all out and got it all laid out where I wanted it in the corner there. And then we built a stand for the fireplace to sit on. Here's some stone we picked out for the pad. Uh, we went to the landscaping place and just laid it all out on the ground until we had it the way we wanted. Here's a look at the cement board all hung and then we laid out the stone the way we wanted it on the stand. Got that all laid out the way we wanted, and then Twinkles helped me uh, mortar that in place. And then Twinkles went right to work setting up the tile. Here's Twinkles just laying the tile. I was mixing up the cement while she was putting the tile on. Here's our first fire and our new wood stove, and we went ahead and built this little wheeled trolley cart for moving wood around the world. We had a bunch of plumbing we had to do underneath. Uh, there was a couple spots I just couldn't fit, so Twinkles Decided to go in. This is her all suited up for battle with her helmet and her trash bag suit and some PEX plumbing. This is us after the first day of demo. We've got the wall all knocked down. Here's another look at the wall before we put the header in. Let's look at the kitchen with the floor all removed when we're laying down the new plumbing for the back bedroom. And for a while, this was our bedroom. <laughs> we were basically sleeping in the old spare bedroom on our little fold up chairs there. This is after we got everything all cleaned up uh, and just finishing up the post before we close up the hole in the floor in the kitchen. Uh, this is with the hole in the floor in the kitchen all closed up. Got our plywood down before we're ready to start laying down our flooring and building out the bar. Here's a quick look at the header and post all installed with the flooring all closed up. Now I'm starting to frame out the kitchen counter here. I put out an ad on Craigslist for anyone that had lumber. Uh, at the time, I was actually just looking for some lumber to use for our horse shelter. I was looking for some, just some two by fours and two by sixes, whatever I could get my hands on to help build the shelter for the horses. And I ended up coming across the guy who was tearing down an old porch off of an old house. He ended up showing me a pile of this beautiful two by six Fur. All he wanted was 40 bucks so he could buy himself a new pair of boots. I thought it was a great deal. I ended up getting a whole stack of these 2x6s. And when I looked at the end, I realized this was old 2x6 uh, fur from the Paul Bunyan mill that used to be here in Anderson, California. So it was really cool uh, actually turning the end over and seeing that the wood was all from the Paul Bunyan mill. Really like this fur. Uh, it's kind of soft for a countertop, but I really like the way that it came out. Really tight grains, this nice red looking wood. Uh, here's a look at the island that I got all built up. It's a 
island bar on one side. Then I built these uh, drawers and a spot for the trash on the other side. It's where we put all of our pots and pans and things like that and the baking trays. Decided to go ahead and replace the overhead vent with this aluminum hood. For the cabinets that we did reuse, Twinkles stripped all the paint off and repainted them. She also stained and sealed the island. It was a little bit darker than I liked at first. I uh, thought that maybe we'd gone a little too dark with the stain, but then I ended up liking it quite a bit when I saw the final result. I'll save the big final reveal for the end, but here's a kitchen when we demoed it out, and then here's the kitchen after we had finished rebuilding it. I was pretty happy with the way the island and the kitchen uh, came out. Uh, take a look at the light fixture, the dining room. One of the first things we did was to rebuild the back bedroom, the guest bedroom, and the guest bathroom. You can see Twinkles here holding the header that we made for the door to the bathroom. Uh, by having that guest bedroom and that guest bathroom all finished, we were able to kind of live in that one area of the house while we demoed out the rest of the house and rebuilt the master bathroom and the master bedroom. So here's a look at the cubby hole that we framed in for the new shower. Here's our two assistants taking a break. This is the bathroom. The floor is all ready to be tiled. You can see we've already tiled out the new shower. Here's a look at the new shower all tiled out and ready for grout. And here's a look at the floor in the guest bathroom after we finished tiling. We haven't put the toilet in yet. Called in Hunter Dog for approval and it passed. Guys, quick update. Just doing a little uh, flooring today. Got everything all cleared out, vacuumed. Just getting ready to lay down some laminate. Did the tiling yesterday. Almost ready. What do you think about all this, babe? <laughs> you like how it's going so far? I think we need to be done already. What's the first thing, boss? What are we doing now? Laying down the clear stuff? Put down, put down the cameras the first thing. <laughs> Come on, baby. Speak to America. They want to hear what you have to say, Twinkles. Uh, no, you do it as you go. So we're going to lay down one row and then lay down some laminate. And then what? And then you more want boxes to pull from. So that's, that's one room. we got the supply room over here. Has all the supplies in it and stuff and a toilet and a sink and some paint and all this stuff for the flooring. That's the schluter for the tile because we still have to tile a bathroom and a laundry room and then we have this. This is the stuff that goes underneath the floating laminate floor. And I'm still got to finish putting this wall heater in that I put in last winter and never finished. It's all plumbed in. I just need to get it inspected. And this is a bathroom that I ripped it down to studs. And we're going to put a new tiling in here. And it needs to be done still. And this is kind of like the tool room. A bunch of tools in here. This is all the laminate flooring we're about to install all the laminate and someone decided to paint this room purple and blue. Here we are laying flooring in the guest bedroom. Take a quick break for a dogfish head and then it was right back to work laying more flooring in the dining room. This took a couple of days to do. We didn't bang this all out in one day. Um, did take my time, go slow, use a rubber mallet. Took a little break from the house, took some leftover scrap lumber, and built a dog house for the Rose Dog. She loves to sit out there and the sunbeams soak up that morning sun. 
here's a look at the living room floor all completed. Back in the house, we got to painting the living room. And a laundry room we gotta finish still. And the dishwasher that I hope fits in there. I could probably measure now. I'm holding it still again, honey. Does this help when I do this? I'll wait no. House update for you guys. Here's the garbage disposal we installed. Some new lines to the sink, new faucet. And I put this water pre-filter in one here and one at the well uh, sediment remover because our well kicks up a little bit of sand and dirt once in a while. Just want to show you guys what it looks like when you flush it out uh, down here that we've got going out. So this is what happens when you open the, the drain. And that just flushes clean water down around the screen and then this clean water goes out to, uh, to the sink which we were having problems with it clogging up with sand. And After we finished in the kitchen it was time to demo and then rebuild the laundry room. So here we are demoing out the laundry room. Twinkles had the idea to build a little laundry chute from the guest bathroom into the laundry room so here's the little window I created and then we just finished drywalling that out. Then we just finished up the walls and floor and built some new hookups for the washing machine. We installed some shelving all the way around the top so we'd have more room for storage like canned goods. And Twinkles set up a wheeled wire rack to use as the pantry. And here's a look at Twinkles in her freshly completed laundry room. This is what I'm working on today. This is the bathroom. Leaking all down below so I'd rip out a bunch of rotten boards, put down some new boards. There's a new plumbing for the toilet. The toilet was leaking down below too. Pretty much this entire thing was just leaking. So I ripped all that out. Um, got some insulation I'm gonna put up uh, right there to go and then we're gonna tile all that. Um, redo this manhole that goes up into the attic. Uh, tear down the old fan that we had a circular fan in here inside the bathroom. We're gonna put up a vent, a true vent and uh, pull that down, put up a different light fixture, replace the vanity light fixture, put in a new vanity, put in the old toilet uh, from the other bathroom. We threw the toilet out that was in here, we gave it away. Um, probably reuse this, but I gotta chisel all of the old mortar and grout around the edges. It's all kind of stuck to the edges, so hopefully we can save that. It's a really nice solid cast iron tub. Plumbing, electrical, flooring, doing the walls, we got some tile work to do, I gotta refinish the tub still, um, you know, put the vanity light in, put the vent in, all kinds of fun stuff going on guys. So sorry no four-wheeler videos today, but as you can see I kinda got my hands full right now, uh, building a house to live in for us, and uh, yeah, just ripping this thing apart, putting it back together one, uh, one board at a time guys. Here's a look at the bathroom with the floor all opened up. Right after that I decided to go ahead and remove the old bathtub and replace it with a new one. Finished framing out the cubby for the new bathtub. Got the new bathtub in and installed all of the cement board. Finished plastering in the cement board. This is a really small bathroom but we needed to use all the space we had so we decided to build some shelving inside the wall here. Before we started tiling the shower area, we did roll on this green waterproofing membrane and then it was time for some tile. Twinkles went right to work putting the tile on the wall while I made all the cuts and mixed the mortar. And here's a good look at the bathroom when we finished adding all the tile. Got the new vanity in and the new toilet. Also put in the new light. And here's a look at what we had at the end. Pretty happy with the way it came out. This is a look at the master bedroom. Put in some floating shelves, finished the flooring. Here's a look at the second bedroom. Finished painting the walls in the second bedroom and put up some fresh trim. Took a break to enjoy the nice weather. Got out on the mountain bike. Here we are at a spot on the Sacramento River called the Barge Hole. So now you can see what we did on the inside here. There used to be a really small living room right here. There was a really small living room and there was a wall with a door right about right there and the, the wall heater. And that was actually a bedroom over there. Uh, 
so now we made the bedroom the dining room we made the old dining room a different bedroom over there uh, that's kind of like the laundry room back there uh, we built these uh, bar and countertops out of reclaimed lumber uh, from the old mill if you look right here it actually says I uh, was able to save it says Paul Bunyan and that was the old mill that was in Anderson the local mill here that shut down in the 80s was the Paul Bunyan lumber mill anyhow that's the there's two bedrooms back there master bathroom right there this is kind of the living room area and uh, we painted all this, redid the drywall, uh, added a new wood stove. Uh, so there's the new wood stove. Put in, there's the new swamp cooler. Um, so the kitchen we did quite a bit to. Built this whole bar island, uh, the reclaimed lumber like I was saying. Uh, added this light fixture and uh, redid all the ceiling and everything in here, which was redid that all up there. Added a new vent. Stove was already here. It was in okay shape, so we kept it. Uh, redid the countertops, put in a new sink and sink fixture. Uh, we put in a dishwasher. There was not a dishwasher here. There wasn't a dishwasher or a garbage disposal, so we put that in. Um, did the tile. We did all this tile right here. And uh, added these drawers over here. Twinkles wanted some drawers, and so put some, some big really heavy duty drawers that slide in and out that's what drawers do <laughs> but yeah we added four big drawers there and just to have more space in the kitchen for stuff and then one for the garbage down there on the end where you can throw stuff away the garbage in there and, uh, yeah so this is the bar we built and the counters all that and then we built the light fixture like I said and then in here Inside, you turn on the light, and there's a light that goes under there. It's all LED lit underneath the bar. Then inside here, locking little hidden little cubby hole so you can hide things. And, uh, lock them up. Money or whiskey or whatever you want to put in there. But, uh, redid all this. This was a purple bedroom. It's kind of California raisin purple. And uh, redid that. Redid the floors in there. And in here, this is my office. Right now it's one of the bedrooms. It's the first bedroom we redid. It's where I do all the trail blogger uh, video editing. So this is my laptop I use for my day job, for my normal job. Uh, we put this kind of roller slider type door in. Or you can... Twinkles actually built this completely by herself. I only helped her hang it up. That pretty cool uh, fur heavy barn style slider door and uh, tile tile bathroom. And hey guys, how's it going? And uh, yeah, this is a better look at the door. You can see the hardware we used to hang it up. Yeah, this is the end of the house. All that kind of stuff out of it. It's a bunch of shelves. Anyhow, so I'm go out here now. And this is where the garage is. See, I just went riding earlier today, so I still haven't even unloaded. I got the, the Raptor in the back, and I'll be posting that video soon for you guys. But um, this is the backyard. You see, there's a really nice sunset going on right now out there. This is where I do all the trail blogger repairs. I got the side-by-side -side in here right now because it's got that stupid CV axle came loose again. So I got to reband or reboot it. And uh, yeah, so there's one of the workbenches over there. Got a computer out here where I listen to my music when I'm working on the quads and stuff. A couple of maps. Uh, of my favorite riding areas so I can kind of try and memorize the maps a little bit while I'm while I'm daydreaming kind of thinking about where to ride next uh, so here's the Oregon Dunes uh, this is a map of Copley right here where we ride Chappie and Copley in Shasta County and then we have the 
California organ in there as well. Uh, some tools and stuff. Got the Banshee poster up there on the wall. Got my tools hung up over here. The workbench where I fix a lot of stuff. Vice comes in handy. So this is the shop where I do most of the repairs for Trailblogger. You guys probably watched me rebuild the Banshee in here. If you watch Trailblogger, you've seen me rebuild the Banshee recently in here. And uh, fix the Raptor, do all the, the Raptor for the Raptor upgrade. All this stuff's getting packed up and gone next week. So I figured I'd do a quick video, show you guys around. It's the last chance I'm going to get to uh, show you guys this place. And uh, it's kind of a way for me to say goodbye, I guess. It's been some good memories in here. Doing quite a bit of things. Fixing quite a few quads. And uh, I, mean, I just thought it was worth walking around. That's where we came from in there. And we're going to go out to the backyard. Still that beautiful sunset going on out there. Wow, look at that, guys. That's just beautiful. Anyhow, we bought this place a few years ago when we first got married. Looking for a little bit more space and uh, a little more property. You know, we just want to get a little bit more room for us. So, been a, a great place. I'm going to definitely miss it, but I'm looking forward to this new place having more space and having more area for potential projects and other things that we both want to do and uh, thanks for watching everybody thanks for watching trail blogger don't forget to hit that bell icon and subscribe share this video hit the like button if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time Next on Trailblogger.